Make sure you check out our new sponsor, the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. What's going on? We back. Good fellow sports TV. We in the building. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. Talk about Billy Joe Saunders taking. Well, um, let me start off here first. Billy Joe Saunders has rumored to be installed as the number five ranked fighter in the WBC new rankings. It haven't been updated on their website or on any other websites, but heard on the word of street. I heard that from Michael Benson on Twitter, so I linked that source. In the description, and if it all is true, then I believe that you will be getting Billy Joe Saunders versus Jamal Charlo as the title eliminator. Now, Billy Joe Saunders has been in talks with Gennady Golovkin. I don't understand what does that fight mean at this point. Neither has a strap. So, don't really know what Golovkin is going to do. Um, right now, he's playing hardball with the zone. Um, Eric Gomez doing the same thing they did before. Um, I believe that big Canelo will come over to the I mean, Golovkin to come on the zone to fight Canelo. He'll take that back. And I think you may be getting Billy Joe Saunders if he can make middleweight at this point. Fight Jamar Charlo. He's been installed as the number five fighter. Now, I think that's heinous. I think I think it's just it just shows you how corrupt boxing really is. And if I'm Jamar Charlo, you know, I understand you got to make a living. But some fighter got to trailblaze the path of righteousness through boxing. And maybe it won't be him. Maybe it's not up to him. I'm not gonna put that on him. But I think it's I think it's it's, it's very very um, it's a heinous, malicious. Um, any any word along those line, those those words, man. That you know that they will install somebody who's on a, a basically a nine month suspension, six month suspension by the WBO, and three more months, then he could be re ranked in the WBO. It's crazy how you could be popped for pits. Right. And be banned from a sanction belt body. And then the WBC can install you after fighting basically at light heavyweight or cruiser weight in your last fight. So where's the consistency in boxing that? If this is true, they install him at number five. He should be banned from all sanction belt bodies. And that brings me back to my point once again. At this point, all fighters that's in America, that's under American uh, 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 banner, promotional banner, should bond together. They should get together. They should get some very, very important uh, wealthy guys, Warren Buffett, Magic Johnson, um, you know, get with Al. And I know that people don't like Al, but they all need to get together, you know, create their own belts, man. Create where these American fighters pay, you know, money to these sanctioned belt bodies where they can get pensions, they can get health care set up like that, you know. And, and when you get ranked there, you pay sanctioned belt fees and you get fighting sanctioned fight. Everybody takes a percentage out of their check and it goes into, you know, the, the pot and everybody that's under that banner, you know, in America, you know, they have, you know, they chip in, you know, as soon as you rank the top 15, you chip in, you got two belts, you know what I'm saying? I would do three belts, two regular belts, like an IBF and you do another belt and then you do a developmental belt for the young bucks to make sure they got premiums and stuff of that nature and they have you know, benefits, and I rock out like that, I don't care, if you can't, if you can't make a name for yourself in the United States, then you ain't, you really ain't nothing in boxing anyway, people want to stay in the UK, and they got their own set of rules for drug testing, because this will be, this is what the, the, the straw that, that broke the camel's back, whatever they say, Billy Joe Saunders just got popped for whatever he got popped for, you know, designer friend, whatever it was, and he get banned from a sanctioned belt body, he easily hops over to another sanctioned belt body, gets a high ranking, and probably, it's going to be ordered to get a shot at the interim champion. The interim title holder. Tell me that, 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 that how that makes sense. And, and how are we going to prevent guys from being repeat offenders or, or cheating in general? Because they could just say, oh, I had some nasal spray or I ate some bad meat. And you you still going to get re-ranked. You still can go from one sanctioned belt body to another sanctioned belt body. And that shows you how spineless, how much the WBC don't care. They want to put these new... These new weight, these new uh, weight parameters up. If you don't weigh this much money, if you break, break the weight rule, if you come in, was it twelve or thirteen pounds over the weight limit to fight the day of the fight, then they want to find you two hundred thousand or how ten percent, twenty percent of your purse. They acting like oh, no fathers in the corner. They acting like they care about the fighter. But then again, you let a, a dude that's suspended from one section belt body for pigs 
come in your sanction belt body and get a high ranking. Tell me how that how that works. Tell me how how the WBC cares about uh, about boxers' health. Tell me that that's that's heinous, that's criminal. You know, all them boxers that they they stand together, they should sue the WBC for that, man. How did this dude come out? Didn't even fight a heavy a middleweight last time. Fought it like cruiserweight, like heavyweight or something like that. Come in, get popped, fail a drug test, suspended for nine months by the WBO, and he get a ranking over me. So you gonna replace? A number five uh, fighter in Willie Monroe who got popped for pits with another number five fighter who just got popped for pits. That's why I tell you, I don't respect the WBC. They can say it's the most prestigious belt. Fuck up out of here. You know what I'm saying? You know, in Jamal Charlo, he take the fight, he take the fight. I'm not discouraging him from take the fight, but I say you'll be a damn fool to keep fucking with the WBC, bro. If Golovkin don't want to fight you, that's the title eliminator right there. Let me go get my shot at Canelo. They're going to keep throwing title eliminators. They're going to keep throwing you the bullshit. They're going to keep paying you, you know, step aside money. Man, go out there and get ranked in, in, in Andrade's sanction the belt body. Go out there and fight Danny Jacobs and drop that intern belt and fight him for the IBF. And even if you got to get Danny Jacobs' number personally from Al Heyman, you call him up, you tell him the importance of that fight with you and him. I, I wouldn't care about the IBF. I'm at the WBC no more, man. This is this is This is a joke. And, and it wasn't, wasn't this the same Luis Ortiz that was dropped out of the WBA, that was dropped out of all the, the WBO? They all dropped him out the sanction bill body for failing a drug test with the WBC that he got cleared for. And he still got a year suspension out the WBA. Shouldn't each sanction bill body work together to stop p- performance enhancing drugs? So nobody should be able to run to, to a different house every time they get in trouble like a kid. If one guy suspended... That guy should be suspended in every sanction belt body. Keep that same energy that you keep for Louis, you got for Luis Ortiz. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and it's crazy, man. But you know, if him and Jamal Charlo fight, it is what it is, man. But I'm gonna tell you this, Jamal Charlo fool, man. They jerking him around like they jerking Kevin Hart around right now. You a fool to be the WBC puppet, man. You know, at the end of the day, you're gonna do all these tough ass fights while Canelo doing all these layup fights, these catchweight fights. He's staying fresh. You're not fighting nobody. You're gonna be fighting the murderous row. And that's part of that's part of the complexion for the selection for, for Canelo. Take his opponents through the ringer, drag it out as far as possible, make it where they can't make the weight or whatever like that. But you know what it is what it is, man. It's criminal. But don't forget to check out our sponsor, the Hellblaze at the Hellblaze.com. They got all your natural products, lotions, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Website is in the description and promo code. Check out their all natural products as well. You won't be disappointed, man. And also check out my Patreon page as well. Good stuff over there. Hardcore boxing fans, only two dollars. You want intellectual talk, food for thought, relationship talk, five dollars tier. But go over and check out the links in the description to all the information I spoke on. But to continue, yeah, man, Jamal Charlo be a fool, man. He the WBC puppet. What they gonna do is they're gonna drag him through the ringer. They're gonna bang him up real good. They're gonna try to really, really uh put miles on his body. They know he barely can't make the weight. And when he had his most vulnerable, after he been through the ringer, after he been beat up and, and damn near knocked dead and they really put more miles in his body. When he started to slow down is when Canelo Alvarez is gonna be an opportunist. When the WBC is gonna be an opportunist and cahoots with Delahoy and, and, and Golden Boy and Canelo. And then when he finally get exposed or he beat down or he can't make the weight and he got to move up, then that's when they're going to act like they want the fight. They're not stupid. They're not stupid. I, I'm not stupid. I see straight to what they're doing, man. You know? And if Jamal Charlo want to choose to to, 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 follow, to follow the fucking smoke and get burnt, well, that's on him. You know, he should have had better education. He should have had better advisors around him. He should have had a better team, right? If he don't see it, that's what they're doing. If they order this Billy Joe Saunders shit, then I don't I don't know what, man. He's a fool. And a fool should get played and a fool should get dealt with. So I don't have no sympathy for homeboy. He better get his mind right, get his head in the game, and go after another belt. Call Danny Jacobs up, talk to him, see what's on his mind, see if they can make a big fight. And that's how I played. I'll sue the WBC, give me my sanction fees back, you jerk me around. But if he really, you know, like taking step aside money, like being Canelo bottom uh, bottom WBC bottom bitch, well, so be it. I don't have, I don't, I'm not fighting for these fighters no more. I don't feel sorry for none of them. 
You know, if I, I know this and this is public information, they know it. But it's good for the sports TV. Don't forget me on Facebook, Twitter. Also, you can reach out to the, me in the email if you got a question, business inquiry, sponsorship. Or you can, uh, you know, check out Facebook group out as well. Uh, don't forget to check out the Hellblaze once again, the Hellblaze, the Hellblaze.com. Promo code Goodfella One Box to get you 18% off on the top of promos and discounts they already running. Lotions, foot soaps, pomade, natural deodorant, much, much more. Website promo code in the description. Check it out. Also, you want to make a donation to the channel. That link's in the description as well. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Don't forget to share the videos. Hit the subscribe button, bell icon button. Don't forget to join the Patreon as well. You won't regret it. We gone.